Hello, my name is Alicia Hashem, and I would like to welcome you to Marvelous Monday. Yay, it's Monday! <laughs> so this is going to be a journey that I'm going to be sharing with you, and we're going to go on together each week. And the focus here is to um, really help to empower our week so that we can start off our Monday by focusing on what it is that you want to manifest. And so this call is specifically for people who have goals. And so if you have goals, um, they can be a lot of different things. It could be financial goals. Maybe you'd like to earn more money or get a new job or achieve um, a certain status in your career. You could also have wellness goals. So maybe you would like to um, lose weight or feel better or gain more bulk muscle, whatever your goal is, it can kind of be on these multiple levels of financial wellness, physical wellness, mental and emotional well-being. So I just want to get us starting to think about what it is that you're calling in on Monday. And then I wanna share with you some tools that will really help you to manifest that and to create this pathway in your brain and in your body that's going to, to help you achieve those goals. And so what I'm gonna be sharing with you is a process that I've been working on myself for the last 12 years. And so I'm gonna be sharing a little bit of my secret sauce with you that's really helped me. So I got on this journey because I was not well physically, I felt terrible. And this was years ago, I had no energy, I was exhausted. Um, I wasn't gaining the nutrients from my food, I just wasn't digesting well. And I also was really unhappy with my job and my financial situation. And so I have spent thousands of dollars on coaching and also becoming a coach myself and gaining these knowledge and skills. And, and so what we do to shift out of maybe something that's not as desirable in our life into something where we have these goals and, we, and dreams is we engage our five senses. So each Monday, we're going to explore ways to use our five senses to help us anchor and root in the goals that you want to achieve. So the five senses are our sense of touch, taste, smell, hearing, and sound. And so, um, for example, right now, I, um, as a sense of taste, for my taste sense, I've got my green drink and my green smoothie here. So it's really nice to reward yourself with some kind of healthy taste item that you know you're gonna wanna eat every day that can help promote your goals. So this is like wheatgrass juice and kale and fruits and veggie, it's a green powder mix. Um, and it tastes really great, it's really sweet. And so every day as I'm focusing on my goals, I drink one of these and I know that it's helping get my body healthy and it's also activating the sense of taste. So the other thing you're gonna wanna grab is your essential oils. So for the sake of today, since we're gonna be focusing on your vision and your goal. I like to usually use a citrus oil or a peppermint. So grab your essential oils and just take one deep breath. You can rub a little bit in the palm of your hand. This would be a good time to do that. And just take a deep breath. And if you don't have essential oils or you say, Alicia, I'm not into essential oils, that's okay. Just take a deep breath. Just breathe something nice or you can sniff a flower. And so then for the sense of touch, we're gonna to do a little bit of tapping. So if you've ever heard of EFT, there's different points you can tap. And so for the sake of today, we're just gonna kind of tap the top of your head or your forehead right here. And just do this with me and let's just take a deep breath. And so take a deep breath in and tap, 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 tap. And as you're tapping, say, be here now. And just hold that, hold your breath and then ah, 
So let's just take three deep breaths to really center ourselves in this present moment and draw all the energy back in. So take a deep breath in, tapping, be here now. And hold that. And then relax, let go, allow. And now breathe in one more time. Draw in all that energy, that love and light. Hold. Be here now. <sighs> Exhale. Another deep breath in. Tap, tap, tap. Be here now. And then relax. <sighs> Okay, and so for the um, other five senses, so we have smell, taste, touch so far. So you have this that you're listening to. So this is audio. You can have a visual here. You can watch this video, or if you have a vision board, grab your vision board. And so what we're doing by anchoring ourselves into these five tools of our five senses is we're taking command. We're taking command of our focus. We're taking also command of how our nervous system is reacting. Don't you feel calmer already after just taking those three deep breaths? Isn't that amazing? So now we're gonna take a step further and we're gonna clear out the chakras for our first Marvelous Monday. And we're gonna do some power breathing, okay? So get nice and comfortable and just draw in a deep breath and breathe up through your feet, breathe up through your torso and into your solar plexus and exhale and just feel that breath circle around in a circle around your solar plexus. And now breathe up from the earth, breathe up through your feet and through your legs, up into your solar plexus and then exhale and let the breath circle around your solar plexus. Breathe in up through the earth, up through your torso, up into the solar plexus, ah, and then let your breath circulate around. Say to yourself, I can do this. I can have an amazing week and breathing up through the earth, up through your feet, into your solar plexus. Ah, feel that energy circulating around up in there. Take another deep breath, breathing up through your torso. And this time, bring the breath up into your heart space. Ah, and let the breath cir circulate around your heart. Mm, I will achieve my goals this week. Breathe again, up through the earth, up through your solar plexus, up into the heart. Fill your heart full of that light and that breath. And then, ah, relax and let that breath fill your body, moving through your torso. Breathing up again through your solar plexus, up into your heart. And just let your heart blossom and open and relax. Ah, I can achieve my goals. I will have a fabulous week. And just keep breathing. Take another deep breath in through your solar plexus and into your heart space. I can achieve this goal. In your solar plexus, I will achieve this goal in your heart. <sighs> Exhale deeply and feel your breath circulating around your solar plexus and your heart. So next we're gonna move up into the brain and the brain is saying, I am achieving my goal. So just breathe up through the earth, up through your feet, up through your solar plexus, up through your heart. Draw that breath up into your brain and then ah, Feel it shoot all the way up into the cosmos. And just breathe into this column of light. Feel this golden energy that connects you all the way up to the center of the cosmos. 
and relax and let that golden energy pour down into the crown of your head, down through your throat. Let that energy circulate in your heart. I am achieving my goals. I can achieve my goals. I will. And then drop that energy down into your sacral chakras and into your root, down through your feet, and feel it connect through the center of the earth. I can achieve my goals. Say it, I can. Breathe it in. Now tap your heart. I will achieve my goals. <sighs> breathe in all this love and light. And if you feel any resistance, breathe into that tension. And then just let it go. <sighs> Relax. Allow. Breathe up from the earth all the way to your head. I am achieving my goals. I am connected to my success. Because everything that you want to manifest, you already have and you already are. It's just a matter of dropping into to this state every day. So take another deep breath up through the earth up through your solar plexus and your heart and your head. Feel that breath all the way up above your head. And then as you hold it, exhale. And just let all the tension, all the energy shake back off and just drain from you. You can even shake your hands a little, move your shoulders. Just pretend like a big golden waterfall is just flowing down on you and it's filling any empty spaces within you. You have the power to achieve this. And so now that you're in this relaxed state, I just want to invite you to always return here. This deep breathing is something that you can do anytime in any place. And this is the space that you want to move forward with your day and with your week. And so I've talked a bit about goals. What are your goals? What are you manifesting? And what are you calling in? So for the sake of this marvelous Monday, I would like you to come up with a vision and a focus for the next 90 days that you want to manifest into your life. So let me talk to you for just one moment about the anatomy of setting a goal. So your goal will be two things. A goal is a vision and a goal is also like a number or a statement. And so the vision is kind of what are you going to achieve? What's it going to feel like? It's like where you really try on your goal. What's the vision of it? Um, showing up to play having your business be easy and graceful or having your wellness routine just be um, momentum. Every day you wake up and you feel motivated to take action. There's a feeling of showing up to play. Maybe if your goals are financial, it could be manifesting you know, a dream home or manifesting that dream vacation for yourself. So what would that look like? really paint this vision for yourself. So that's one side of the goal. The goal is like a sword, okay? So there's two sides to the sword. One side is the vision. The other side's gonna be basically a number. So then on that other side of the, the number, so what I want you to do on a sheet of paper is to draw a T shape, okay? And then on one side, write vision. And then on the other side, write goal. And on that vision side, you're just going to write down everything, like what's it going to look like to achieve your goal, this graceful, easy movement and momentum towards action. What actions are you going to take? What's it going to taste like? What's it going to smell like? What's it going to look like? What, what will you be doing? Who will you be surrounded with? So paint that picture of that vision 
for yourself. And this is so important. And we're not doing this because, oh, woo woo, a goal. No, this is brain chemistry. So when you create that vision for yourself, you're telling your brain, go here, focus on this. So it's really important to articulate that and write this down. And I just want to say something about goal setting that I, I read this statistic the other day that they said about 1% of the population gets their goal in writing. So if you just drew a T right now and wrote down your vision and your goal, you're a part of that 1% of the population who is actually writing down your goals. And they say that 90% of goals that are achieved were written down first. So get this in writing. So you have your vision side, and then on the other side, you're gonna have a number. So say if your goal is to earn more money so you can pay off your credit card debt, what's that, gonna, what's that number gonna look like? You know, if you're earning you know, $2,000 a month extra, would that help? Or maybe it's 5,000, or maybe you have a dream vacation that you're going towards. So how much extra money do you need coming in every month? Or say it's a weight loss goal. So write down that number, whatever it is. Um, you know, uh, another thing would be if you, you know, work in network marketing, what's your rank goal? What's an income level that's coming in? And so as you're going through this process and you're writing down your vision and your number, just notice which side is stronger for you. Are you stronger on the vision side? Or are you stronger on the numbers side? Um, are you, and, and so the vision is kind of more of like the feminine side, that visionary state. And then the, the numbers is kind of more of the masculine state. And neither one of those is right or wrong. It's just, it's good to have both, to activate both sides of our brain, the conscious and the subconscious mind. And so we wanna write these things down and I really want to empower you because the way that the brain works, it's designed to keep us in our comfort zone. So as soon as you set a goal to achieve something that you've never had before, your brain is immediately going to try to sabotage you. And let me tell you why, just for one minute. So when we have a primitive part in our brain called the amygdala, and the amygdala is the part of us that would say, run, 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 if there was a dinosaur or a saber-toothed tiger back in the caveman days, okay? That was what kept us alive. A lot of people call that our fight or flight response. So nowadays there's no saber-toothed tiger really, or you know, there's not those same dangers, but when we set a goal, it activates that same part in our brain because our brain goes, whoa, 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 you're leaving the cave. You're in this comfort zone and this is what we know and this is your set point and now you want to go out here and it's dangerous. There's sharks, there, you could die. You know, your brain wants to come up with all of these sabotage, you know, mechanisms to keep you where you are right now. And so if you're here and you're watching this, you must have some kind of goal for yourself. And so you have to really ask yourself, is where I am right now comfortable? Is this really a good spot for me? And if the answer is no, then what we'll do is every Monday meet together to really help you expand your set point in your brain so that you can feel that your goals are achievable and just really to, to manifest, manifest them and create tools that help you leverage so that when the fear comes up, when the overwhelm, when the doubt comes out, when the, there's these different things that our, that our brain will do, it'll pop up fear or emotional or mental blocks. Um, the feeling of, oh, I'm not enough, or I can't do this, you know, there's all these limitations. And it's basically a pecking order, you know, because we were raised in this certain way. So we were told, oh, we can't achieve this, or you can't be this. And so it's really, anything's possible. It's just all about knowing how this brain is wired up here. So I've been on my soapbox for long enough and thank you so much for joining me. I do have one request and one homework item for you. So what I would like for you to do is to create a vision board for yourself. And so the vision board is going to have pictures and images and words that relate to your goal. 
So really think about your goal and, you know, try to think of something that's really important to you that you would really like to manifest in the next few days. And I'll open up the space to you for questions. So please just comment or um, send me a message or pop in to the live video chat on our Marvelous Monday call to um, get some coaching around what it is that you want to manifest. Because I want to help you. I am on a mission to help as many people as I can to achieve what I have. Because if I can do it with the resources that I have, I know that anybody can do it. We all have limitations that were just imposed upon us. So for your assignment, for your vision board, come up with a plan for that you want to manifest. And what I would recommend is going and getting old magazines and cutting pictures out of it. So I'm just going to show you and give you a little sample of some of my vision boards. So one of my goals was to attract new friends into my life because I noticed when I, especially when I was growing up, I, I would surround myself with people who were really negative and sometimes it would really drag me down. Some of my friends would be downers and really depressed. And so it became really important to me to attract amazing people. So I just went and cut pictures of all these magical women out of the magazine. And all of these ladies really represent, you know, we're doing fun things together, modeling, going to the beach, singing and dancing, massage, playing with animals. And so every time that I look at this vision board and I wake up in the morning, it draws me into just my brain focuses and says, hey, you come into my life. And then immediately when I go out and about into the world, then I find these amazing people because right off the bat, subconsciously in the morning, I reminded myself of what was important to me so that I didn't fall back into those old habits and patterns. So um, another vision board that I'm working on right now is for my music. And so I have been building my own business, my own home-based business, for eight years successfully now, and I'm so thankful for it. And one of the reasons why I built it is because I wanted more time to do my music and to create music. And when I was working those nine to five jobs, I was just too tired at the end of the day and I had no energy left. And so I just put some fun images like keyboards and working in the studio. And you know, a lot of that equipment is expensive. And so it just helps me focus on, oh yeah, stay on track, because this is what we're working towards, right? This goal of manifesting it. So I'm checking in the comments section while we're live here, and um, Jay is saying that he'd like to travel more and rank up in your doTERRA business. That's so awesome. And so I have a travel one too, Jay. And uh, let's see. So I put, this one is one I'm still working on too. And so, you know, we've got some cars on there, some airplanes, um, different exotic looking places and farms. And then I also even created one for, for my doTERRA business in the past too. And so this one I put numbers on. So without going into big detail about my vision boards here, I've got them all over the place. And if you don't have magazines or uh, cardboard or like, you know, glue, and if you don't want to make that, you can also make them digitally. So I'll use canva.com. It's a free service. And then you can just, you know, download images online that inspire you. So I'll go type in things like, I'll say, okay, I want to go diamond in my business. So I'll type in diamonds or I'll say, I want to attract leaders. And so I'll you know, Google these different images and then Canva makes it really great where you can, you know, just add all of those things in there and you can even download and print those. And so um, through this process, you're going to probably want a binder and you can just start to save your vision boards. And I actually create a vision board for each goal that I have, but I don't want to overwhelm you. Just start with one vision board and create that for yourself. And that's your homework assignment for this week. And so meet up again with us on Monday. I'll be doing these for the next 90 days. 
for um, at 11 a.m. Pacific time, and you're welcome to invite along anybody else who has business goals, whether it's financial or wellness goals, um, or any other goals in between. And this is a safe place where we're going to support each other. We're also going to, um, we have a Facebook group where we'll invite you to share and um, I'll also be sending you some fun downloads and things in the meantime. So thanks so much for tuning into my first session of Marvelous Mondays. And let me know what you think of it. I hope to see you live. And um, right now I want to take the opportunity to open up the space to our live callers and see if you have any questions or if you would like to share or declare your goal. That was excellent. Oh man, the vision board. I think I I think I think of something like that before, but you broke it down really good. I think I'll just I have like a lot of old magazines I use. So I have to dig through what in my garage and just find my old stash of books and magazines and just look through them, you know. Because I know I want to travel more, you know, with my parents, especially my parents too. So that'd be cool. That's so awesome. So it's perfect. You already have the magazines. And, you know, one thing that I do is I'll just go on a magazine cutting, like I'll just rip out pages that have pictures and I'll just cut out a bunch of stuff. And then you can have a gluing party after you get a bunch of those images out. It's really mm, fun to that create. That sounds cool. I just need to get some clip boards or something. Where'd you get those boards at? Like, uh, uh... I, have, I got these at the arts and crafts store. So these are just like a poster board. Um, I have also like just used regular, you know, paper. Like sometimes you can find just like a cardboard this size. So these ones are big, but I also have vision boards that are small too. Okay. And I do them on canva.com. It's a free service and they even have social media size graphics. Oh yeah. I use that a lot too okay. sometimes. Yeah. And that one's really fun to make a collage with as well. And you know, mine's kind of, I just kind of slap all this stuff up there. It's a little messy and chaotic, but some people- Oh, like, that looks good. Actually, that's probably just something I'll probably do too. I, li I like just throwing it all up there, but some people, if you're more structured, they'll, you know, like make it more- yeah, I'm just more mixed bag, so it's like be structured and messy. It's like a weird mix. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fun. And you know, it doesn't- it doesn't have to be something that's like on display for everybody to see. Honestly, I mean, I shared, you know, it's vulnerable of me to share my vision board with you because whenever I have guests over, I actually put them away because mm -hmm. for me, it's a very, you know, it's You're protecting yourself. a personal thing. Yeah. And, you know, these are your dreams. And so it's not always like, ideal to just announce it to everyone and their dog you know and so i even have vision boards that stay out and they're just there for everyone and then i have my private vision boards as well and it's just really a way to protect your sacred dreams um but if you have like an office space or in your bedroom ideally you want to kind of keep them wherever you're just going to see it randomly and the whole idea is because you're training your subconscious mind to filter it and to focus and say you there come to me right because our subconscious mind is filtering information so if it if we tell our brain what we want it to focus on then automatically it's going to pull that in whenever you're out and about and i've noticed it works so well like my vision board for meeting new amazing women i i love it and it helps me all the time since I created that. I've attracted so many amazing friends and sisters and just powerful people into my that. tribe. And, and so it really works. We just have to give our brain something to focus on. And, you know, when you think about it, you know, our, I think I, I have these numbers and statistics somewhere, but it was something like the brain thinks like 90, 900,000 thoughts per day. And like, 
over half of those thoughts are negative thoughts. Oh, ain't that the truth? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like how I'm often do you find, yeah, how often do you find yourself defaulting back to those, that self-talk? Like maybe it's like doubt about, about yourself or maybe it's like thinking, oh, that person, I don't like what they're doing or whatever it is, you know, how often, how easy is it to, to default back to that? But people who have success in life, it's not that they're perfect and that they never think those thoughts or that negative self-talk. They just manage it. They just learn how to manage it and they don't get sucked into it. It's like a hook, like a parasite that's trying to hook you in. And so when you create this vision of what you are calling in, and it could be anything. We have travel, business, maybe it's a partner and a fulfilling relationship. Mm, that's um, deep oh man yeah. I gotta repeat that again that's deep yeah it could be any area of life and then just to really notice oh my gosh how negative am I thinking about it and a lot of times we think oh it's just my thoughts and you keep it to yourself but it's like you're telling your brain to focus on that and to make it bigger and and to attract it and a lot of people call this kind of stuff like the law of attraction but really it's just brain science and just understanding how our brain works, that it's so powerful that it will filter towards us whatever we tell it to focus on. Mm, that's beautiful. Brain science, gotta love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my friends are like that too, especially one named Anna, she loves the science stuff too. I mean, yeah, that's deep, that's real deep. Mm. I just can't put it into words. It's just, it's good, you know? Well, how do you feel about the homework assignment of creating I'm your so, own? I'm career? actually, it's, I'm excited, actually. And I've always been visualizing what I want to do and how to do it. It's just like, the last few weeks, it's just like all these thoughts in my head, you know, just hold me back. So I know I'm better than this, you know? Yes. Yeah, you broke it down good. So Great. that was it. Well, I'm excited to see your vision board and we ha you're a part of the Facebook group Harmony Cultivator. And so for anyone who is watching the recording, um, if you're joining us for Marvelous Mondays, please send a request to be a part of the Harmony Cultivator Facebook group. And I invite you to declare your goal and your statement. But if it feels too vulnerable to share on a public platform, I totally understand. And you can always message me your vision board if you do want to share and, and to announce that. And so that I know where you're at with your goals and what you're attracting into this. And then let's just play every Monday and let's come together and let's see what kind of magic that we can create over these next I have months. a question. Yes. Will you be doing this every week on Monday or every month? Every week on Monday. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, just to keep that in mind. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah, and um, it's an open invitation. So if there's anyone in your life that you feel can benefit from, you know, just manifesting their goals or if you know that they have big goals and dreams, invite them to come play with us. Okay, I will. I don't have a little party today, so I might talk to a few people because they've been always talking about their goals and stuff. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's fun to come together and, you know, to really create that momentum together. And the more the merrier, right? Because then we're, we all know if, if everyone's working towards achieving these goals, let's dial in every Monday and I'm going to share some juicy tools that will really help you engage your five senses so that you can take command of your reality and what's really getting called in. So for this week one and this first homework assignment, we're going to really focus on the sense of sight. So what's your vision? What's your goal? What are you calling in? What are, what are the visionary side? What are the numbers? Is it financial? Is it health related? Is it uh, relationships? Whatever it is that you're calling in, create a vision board. And what if I make like two? Is that good too? Oh like, yeah, you can make as many as you want. Like I said, I've got hundreds of vision boards. Okay. And um, I've even you know got them in a binder. And what I usually do is you know for these bigger ones, if I make one of these ones, then I'll take a picture of it. 
and save it on my phone as well. Ah, perfect. Okay. Cool. And I wanted to invite all of you to and let you know that there's also this really great app that you can get for your device and it's free. It's called Subconscious Vision Board. Okay. And um, it's really great because you can just upload these little images into it as well as a statement. Is and it like Instagram? Sorry. It's it's your own private thing. It kind of looks like Instagram, but it's your own. It's not public, but you can press the play button and it'll play and flash through your images in like one second. So it'll just get those into your subconscious mind. And so I recommend getting your vision boards, you know, in your house and in your home or office or bedroom and also having it on your phone to subconscious vision. Yep, subconscious vision board. Yes. And it's and the icon, it's like a pink circle with a little heart in there. I don't know. You, I don't know if you can Got see you. it. Vision board. And um, so download that app too. And that will really kind of help so that you have your vision board on multiple platforms. Gotcha. I'll do that. Fabulous. Well, I hope that you have an amazing week. We're going to stop the recording and feel free to stick around and connect. Have a Thank beautiful you. week and thanks for being here on Marvelous Mondays. Make it fabulous. Thank you.